Kansas City Deer Coach Self. Quick question. How can something this good be so hard? I'm sitting here at an empty sprint center as a cleaning crew weaves its way through seats that were barely sat in during Sunday afternoon's reunion between historic rivals, and I can't come up with one decent answer. I searched. Asked around. Came up empty. Who loses? Not the countless people who will benefit from the jaw-dropping amount of money the showdown for relief just raised, an outpouring of help for hurricane victims that had exceeded $1.75 million by the time you helped present that big cardboard check at halftime. All because people wanted to see Mizzou and Kansas play hoops. In an exhibition. Not one player. Your star guard Devont Graham said he sensed in the pregame layup line how much juice there was in the building. Mizzou star forward Michael Porter Jr. makes an excellent sales pitch. Mizzou versus Kansas, I don't know if there's a bigger rivalry in any sport, said MPJ. I think it's a game that should be played every year. Not first-year Tigers coach Kwanzo Martin. Not his boss Jim Sterk. Not anyone with decision-making power over Mizzou's basketball schedule moving forward. Of course we would love to play, but both sides have to agree on something like that, said Martin. You saw the energy behind it. We'll see. I don't want to put any pressure on them, because that's not what this is about today, added Sterk. This is a standalone. If something can work out, that would be great in the future. If not, maybe we can do this for charity every once in a while. Not the Muenku fans who showed up for the first revenue sport meeting between Tigers and Jayhawks since 2012, and immediately found themselves transported back to this hair-raising horse throat-causing, stand-up-and-shout thrill right of a rivalry that can certainly be suppressed, but never snuffed out. Hadn't crossed paths in years, and all that energy and emotion and passion came rushing back with one tip-off. Unfortunately, no one feels very optimistic about Sunday leading to serious traction in the rivalry restored department. Asked if this exhibition represented a thaw, veteran ESPN broadcaster Fran Fraschilla responded, but we're still in Antarctica. The search for why always leads back to you, coach self. That's what fans want to know, you said when asked about making this meeting an every year event. But we're going to do what's best for us. We are not interested in what's doing best for Missouri, or what's best for Missouri fans. But if it's best for us to play them, we will. It's not a complicated deal. I get it. You are still upset Mizzou made the decision to bolt the Big 12 for the sect, so the Tigers must live with the consequences until you change your mind. But you've already played former Big 12 opponents Nebraska and Colorado, and Texas A&M is on your schedule this season. The Big 12 loyalty line of thinking doesn't really add up. Now, I'll concede one thing. It made zero sense to play the Tigers when they didn't deserve to share a court with your team. No one would have benefited from those beatdowns the past three seasons. Your RPI would have suffered. That era of Mizzou basketball is over, though. Martin's teams will compete. So, what do you say? I'm not going to say never, you said here Sunday. But I don't think there's been any change in our position as far as the university goes. I'm the spokesman, I guess, on the Ross, but trust me, I'm not the only one who feels that way. There was a very large contingent of cool people that wasn't happy that we were doing this initially until they realized it was for a good cause. Certainly, what happens a few years from now is not what we are talking or thinking about right now. Let's pause here for a moment. You made the call that got the ball rolling on this exhibition. You had hurricane relief in mind the whole time, and that was made clear when the event was announced. So the notion of anyone not knowing it was for a good cause seems odd. Another thing, who are these upset Kansas fans? Your half of this building was packed with folks wearing the shade of blue that clashes so perfectly with black and gold. And they seemed pretty thrilled with an ultimately meaningless six-point win. Coach Self, you set the tone at coup. If you ask your athletics director or boosters to jump, they want to know how high. If you say you want to play Mizzou, the faction that protests, the one that was nowhere to be found Sunday, will fall in line. Yes, 
you have the power. But Sunday reminded us once again of the power of this event. Mizzou, Kansas is bigger than conference realignment or lingering resentment from it. It's bigger than having to hinge on a conference title chase. You are the biggest figure in it, and it's even bigger than you. A rivalry rooted in history can be made dormant, but it will never die. You let it live for a great cause Sunday. It was as good as it's ever been, because that's as good as it always will be. It had the feel, but not the importance, you said after the game. I admit I had butterflies, you conceded. Those weren't butterflies. That was the pumping of blood that only comes when Tigers and Jayhawks clash, even if the game doesn't count. Imagine if it did once again, would you?